Hey guys, how you doing? We're back with another video today. And since it's almost Christmas, it's six days till Christmas, and I'll be uploading this video at like 10 um, p.m. tonight. So now this is what we're going to be reading from Matthew 2. Since it's about to be Christmas in six, um, six to five, two more hours and it'll be um, five days until Christmas. Um, so go ahead and open up your Bibles to Matthew 2, and yeah, let's go ahead and open up a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for many blessings. Please help all the missionaries out there who are spreading the word about you at Christmas time. And please help my YouTube channel to grow, and thank you for all she gives in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Matthew chapter 2, verse 1, let's get into it. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the days of Herod the king, behold, there was a wise man from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, was troubled, and all Jerusalem with them. And when he had gathered all the chief all the chief priests and scribes of the people together. He demanded them of, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judah, for thus it is written by the prophet. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of these shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had, when he had privily called the wise men and inquired of them diligently, what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, "Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may also come and worship him also." When they had heard the king they they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came till it came and stood over where the young child was when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy and when they were come into the house they saw the young child with his with Mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him and when they had opened their treasures they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country and 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 uh, in another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord ap appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the the young child. As his mother and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring the word. The word for Herod will see, will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceedingly wroth, and sent forth and slew the, all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coast thereof, from two, two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah there was a voice heard lamentation and weeping, and great mourning, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted because they were not, because they are not. But when Herod was, when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. 
But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judah in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream, he he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that is that might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets he called the Nazarene. Okay, so that was 23 verses. Um, it took me about four minutes. Um, so, what this whole thing is talking about is, um, it's talking about whenever Jesus, whenever an angel came to Mary in the Bible, he, he um, asked her to, I mean, he told her that she was chosen by God, that she would have a baby, and they'd have to name him Jesus, um, which means Emmanuel, which being interpreted Emmanuel. Um, um, yeah, so whenever Christ was born, he was he. There was like a star in the sky, but then an angel appeared to some shepherd men, and they. It actually, they came there whenever they came there whenever Jesus was around two or three, and they gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So gold is like um, a really um, precious mineral, um, and frankincense, I believe, is like a scent that you put on people whenever they're dead in a grave, and myrrh. I can't really remember what myrrh is, but um, so whenever. They, whenever Jesus was born, Herod was alive then, and then he wanted, since he heard of this new king that Jews were going about, talking about, so Herod said, um, Herod said, go kill all the babies under two years old, and then Jesus, um, they left to Egypt, where Pharaoh was, but I don't know if it was that time or not. But um, he was only doing that in Bethlehem, so they had to leave until Beth, until Herod was dead, and then they could stop killing babies. Um, but then, um, yeah, so they went to Bethlehem to have Jesus, and then the the um, I just forgot what they're called. The wise men, they came after he was born and all that. Because it took them about um, like two years to get there. But, yeah, that's a long time of traveling. So, yeah. And then they, Mary and Joseph couldn't, there was no room in the inn. So then they had to go to the barn, and that's where Jesus was born. Um, and then... They came back once Herod was dead because while they were there, they had to collect their tax. They had to do taxes where they were born. So they moved from Bethlehem to, um, I think it was Nazareth. And then they moved, I don't know if it was Nazareth or not. Um, but then they came back to Bethlehem because they had to go back to where they were born um, to do their taxes. And so then they... So then that's why they had to be at Bethlehem. But then they they left to um, Egypt while um, Herod was getting older and older. So then he died. And then they came back. So that's the whole story of the Christmas story. And we'll be back with you guys in another video. So see ya.